Yo ho ho, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast. We've got Queen down here in the bottom right, Sins in the bottom left, and I heard that this was a close game. So no spoiler, but this should be an interesting one. Looking forward to how these two are matching up right now. Queen has not been on the top of his game lately. Sins, kind of an up and coming pro. I don't know actually how long he's been in the zeitgeist here of Brood War, but I know he's been around for quite some time. So a lot of guy, a lot of people in the comments often say like, "What? This guy's not an up and comer. He's been, he's not a new player. He's been around for years and years." And that's just kind of how it is in Brood War. You need a lot of time before you can be, you know, considered uh, a veteran. Like 10 years or more, really, in the uh, grand scheme of things, in the uh, highest tiers of Brood War. Uh, if you're not getting into ASLs regularly, then you're kind of a newcomer, I think. Um, th there's just so many different people out there. Don't expect me to remember how long each and every single player has been around. Guys, let's be a little bit charitable here to your friend saying SC. Now, we've got the probe coming over here. It's gonna see the drone that was about to be throwing down the hatch. Since the hatch isn't down yet, and he sees an overlord coming out, he knows that it's an overpool. So he's just gonna go ahead and block here. Oh my God, he's gonna block both of them. Dude, that's so frustrating. This probe was sent out a long time ago. It actually searched around the entirety of the map and then looped down here to block the hatchery. He's gonna throw down a pylon. This is not a map where it's nice uh, to, to throw down a base. Um, actually, I think it's fine here to throw it over here. I mean, if it was cross map, I would be super annoyed to throw it here instead of here. But since Pro Protoss is down in the bottom left, it's not that bad to drop a uh, hatchery over at the center right now. The cannon is done back at home. Since we'll have to be careful since this is six slings, uh, it's not anything to be joking around about. You do have to be very careful with, um, you know, blocking at the front here. So even going to start a second cannon, which I think is a smart move at this point. If even one ling gets in, it can be really, really annoying here. Um, not at my level, but at S rank, it's super, super tough to deal with. Probes are going to be pulled. I definitely think one Ling is going to get in. Maybe even more. Three Lings make their way into the main base. That was not a good enough pull there by Sins. You have to block the ramp completely. Um, or just block the, the Lings from even getting past that wall in. And he just failed to do that. Now Queen is going to be able to do a lot of damage here. It's already kind of a big amount. Just how much time he's forced the probes off the line here. The probes are going to try and get this around. They do get a pretty decent surround. He's targeting very well onto the lings, but... Oh, he gets that one. That one's super low as well. 3 HP. If he just targets with one more probe, he could get it. <gasps> there you go. He does get that kill. So two probes lost. A bit of mining time. It's not honestly that bad here for Sins. He should be okay from this position. Uh, but that was definitely good stuff for Queen. If he hadn't done any damage with those first six lings, his position would be really, really rough right now. Now, he does have to build more lings because that first zealot's going to come across the map. Uh, that's going to limit his economy further, right? He has to build two more sets of lings. And really, there's nothing else that has to be built here for Sins. He's already got the two cannons. He can just keep incrementing these zealots out and forcing more and more links and just slowing down the Zerg economy uh, by doing that. He's going to send the second Zealot out here, and then he's going to send them in, it looks like, with the probe spotting how many links are here. Six links, it can't quite fight against two Zealots. If the Zealots are con controlled correctly, both Zealots will live, um, and all the links will die. So we need a little bit more than that, and actually... He's just now going to spot. I love the placement of this Overlord, actually. That's a really good spot to leave it. Um, I'm going to see these Zealots make their way over here to the third base. And this is going to delay some mining. That's very rough. 
And it's going to get worse from here because going behind the mineral patches, really, really annoying stuff here from Sins. That's a great position. So hard to get good surface area on this. I don't know if Queen is even going to try. Queen is known as a player who will actually set up like Ling walls and just kind of contain Zealots in a spot like this. I've seen him do it a lot of times before. Not when there's two different openings, usually when there's just one. There's just one opening where the Zealot can come in and out. You'll just surround it and, you know, try to just keep it stuck back there. More Zealots are coming out on the map, just two. The third one gonna slowly get incremented out here as well. And we're going into, of course, that Stargate. Back at home, we have the Lair and the Spire on the way here. Extra hatches being thrown down. This Queen is pretty much on curve here. He's going to quickly dispatch these two Zealots behind the Mineral Patches at his third base. And then run the Lings back over towards the Natural. Because there's about to be uh, two, three Zealots making their way into the main. So he does have to rush back over here and try to deal with this. Surprised that Sins didn't send one Zealot to harass these uh, drones. It'll actually force the drones to not mine at least which is damage in itself, but he will go behind the Spire here. Try to take the best trade that he possibly can here against these Lings. He's already doing a great job of it. Uh, only lost his shields thus far, and the Lings are not too many anymore. Another Zealot going to make its way over here to the third, and this is really starting to be some serious, serious damage here. Sins doing a great job. Insanely annoying what he's pulling off right now. But Queen is going to try and micro drones against this. He loses one. He does lose one. Another Zealot making its way. Dude, this is so frustrating. As a Zerg player, I'm cringing just watching this. And now he can send these... He can definitely send these Zealots out to, to start uh, harassing some more. He could actually get the Spire. It's getting quite low. Uh, we're, we're getting uh, armor right now. But it looks like that's not going to finish. The Zealots decide to go after some drones. He gets another drone kill there. Dude, this is so frustrating for Queen right now. He has just been harassed to no end. The Zealot splitting every single which way. And he's going to have to keep his Midas back at home. He doesn't build any Sunkins. Except for this one over here. And that's, that's kind of a gamble play. He's trying to make up for the fact that he literally doesn't have any drones right now he needs to re-drone as best he can but right now he's gonna try and dive in and he actually kills some cannons here that's quite a lot of zealots and two cannons to boot he's trying to jump on top of the uh corsairs right now he's got a few more corsairs here so they or a few more skirts so the corsairs cannot dive on this directly but i think with the extra cannons that just warped in over at the Natural mineral line. He's going to be able to save this. Great connection there with those Scourge. A DT pops out. I think that Queen saw that. Does he have Overlords everywhere? He does. Going to set up a creep colony here so that he can have some form of defense over at his natural. Coming in with the Scourge once again. He's trying to Ogre Zerg it. But he's only going to get this wall here, I think. Which, I mean, it's not nothing, but... It's not very much. One uh, forge is all that ends up going down. He's going to find... Oh, man. So annoying here. He's going to find an angle where he can actually hit the, the sixth hatchery. Just barely on the edge. And he will force that back for a moment. I'm going to come in try to hit that again. Only 100 HP on that. Finally, the uh, Mutas will come in and save the hatchery, though. And now we're getting into a reasonable drone count. How are our upgrades looking? Well, plus one just started. We're at less than halfway there. We've got, of course, that armor upgrade, but that's not going to matter too much longer. Double upgrades here coming for Sins. And he already has plus one attack, so his upgrades are looking pretty deadly right now. We're probably going to have just a few moments of the plus one being done. And no plus one armor, plus two attack for Sins. It's not going to be long, though. More cannons here. Some Templar are in position as well. Really solidifying the front of Sins' base. Although it does look pretty desolate here. A lot of destroyed buildings. 
Sending out lings now to just check, make sure that no additional sneaky bases are being taken. Definitely a must against any Protoss player. Pro gamers included. Coming into the main now, looking for an opportunity here. Does see one Corsair sitting over top of two cannons. Backing away here. Queen not wanting to take that fight. A lot of Hydras on the way, plus pneumatized carapace he will be getting that overlord speed here momentarily no dt in the top right hand corner to actually shut down an extra base so that's kind of big for queen here Ooh, taking quite a bit of damage on these metalists but scourge to the rescue forcing the corsairs back we're gonna be able to shut down this pylon at least a single zealot gonna make its way over here to the top right hand corner shouldn't be able to cancel the hatchery but we'll put some damage on that which is highly annoying it's gonna force maybe the mutas to fly over there as well as the zealots start to move out here we will have to see a pretty big reaction from uh queen right now Ooh, getting a few good connections scourge Landing on a few of these Corsairs. He's going to group up once again. That's not going to connect. Okay, one does go down. Seven Corsairs, though. You cannot engage that with Hi uh, with Muta. You need Hydras. We don't have that many just yet. A lot are coming from the natural. A few here on the high ground. That's a really good position from Queen. Unfortunately, he's going to get surrounded. Oh, no. Not paying attention for mere seconds. Almost losing all those Hydras. We'll bring everything else up now, finally. Psionic Storm is just finishing up at 12 minutes. I think we forgot Psionic Storm here, guys. There was definitely a mistake made by Sins for getting that upgrade, but he does have it done now. Hydras are coming from all different directions. Scourge are here as well, trying to connect, but they can't. Hydras moving forward. Zealots are going to split and try to head towards the natural, it looks like. Ooh, Scourge keep popping out. Surprised to see uh, so many Scourge be made here uh, by Queen, but that's a really nice defensive position. Can't really get through there with Zealots, I don't think. This is the only little hole right there that you could possibly get through. Zealot counterattack makes its way over to the top right at the same time. Bunch of overloads are going to go down here at the center right. Has since found an opening that he can exploit here. He will be sending his Corsairs over to the top right hand corner. Along with the Zealots to actually pick off that base. The upgrade is going to fall here it looks like. And the base will go down as well. All the Mutalists fall. The fourth is gone. A great attack here by Sins. Really putting the hurt on Queen right now. Queen trying to come up with this ramp. He's got the, all of these zealots trapped. And you should be able to kill them without too much trouble. Sin's just going to let them fall. And this is probably the worst trade that Sin's has had so far. He's going to use that time, though, to run around. Snag a few overlords. Making some great use out of this very high Corsair count. He built a lot of Corsairs this game, man. So, so many, but it's really hurting his overall Templar and army count. As you can see, I mean, we haven't even lost a single Templar yet. 14 minutes in, we've only got four Templars. That's some something that a lot of players will have around like 9, 10 minutes. Have those that amount of Templar, but... He's been really utilizing that gas for his air army. Now a lot of Hydras are coming over here towards this natural. It's a very tight location here on Retro, but... He might be able to break through if the storms are not used effectively. He's going to drop a storm there, but a great dodge from Queen. Another not-so-great storm here, and actually, the Dragoons are going to be forced back. The Templar are going to be killed, and Hydras are going to be able to break through here. This is a scary, scary moment right now for Sins. Another great storm does go down here, and the Hydras are being pushed back now, finally. An Observer gets picked off, and the Lurkers are being morphed right in the face of Sins at the moment. Picking off some of these Corsairs as they do their work against the Overlords. The Lurkers will spawn. And as they set up here right in the pocket, 
without an ob observer, we can't really do anything about this. Sin's being thrown back here. A great little push by Queen. Queen gonna fall back quickly to the rally point. And the, the observer picks have been hugely impactful here. It's gonna allow Queen to really solidify this position in between the third and the natural. Picking off that gateway as well. Forces are roaming. There's the observer. He kills it again. <gasps> Sins, what are you doing? This is the golden rule of Protoss. You cannot allow your observers to die like that. This is really, really bad. And he's not even making another one. Come on, Sins. Make another observer for the love of God. What are we doing right now? Storms should be dropping here. What is he doing? He's focusing instead on running around a bunch of zealots, it looks like. We should see a storm on this big group of Lurker, but instead he's gonna be forced to waste it on these three Hydras over here. Looks like Zealots are gonna make their way up to the top right and deal some damage, but meanwhile, Lurkers are closing in, closing the noose here on Sins. He needs to get more Observers out. He just stopped making them completely, and Dragoons are gonna be fighting from the high ground, but High Templar are gonna be picked off as they pop out here. He needs another storm badly, desperately. He just doesn't have it. He's losing his Nexus right now. More Overlords are going down here at the natural, but more and more and more Hydras are making their way to the front here. This is a terribly desperate situation right now for Sins. He is fighting from the high ground, but if you didn't know, Lurker Spines do not discriminate. High ground, low ground, they hit everything equally. A lot of probes are gonna go down here. This Lurker getting a huge amount of kills for itself, 12 kills on that. The Dragoons are gonna try to come down with two Observers. He can finally start to push this back a little bit, but more Hydras have already arrived and just pure Dragoon versus Lurker Hydra. Not a great fight for the Protoss forces. One more Storm is almost available. It's so close, but all the Dragoons fall and Hydra Lurker busting its way in here. Snipes down the Observer, uh, sorry, the Overlord there, I guess. Kind of helpful if you want to keep an Observer alive, but now he's lost his Observatory and his Robo, both going to fall here. Two Observers is all he has left, and that's probably all he's ever going to have. A base in the top left, a sneak base up here. Didn't even realize that that was happening, but Sins getting a little bit of income from that location. Although an Overlord may be heading up there to scout that out pretty soon. Holding on the top of this ramp right now, trying to snipe an Observer if he can. Those Observers are so important here. Hydra's moving around the map. He'll likely be sending those to the top left just to confirm that there's no base over here. He's sending a... Gonna make a DT to try to hold the ramp, but he doesn't have any cannons in the top left. Sins. He's only got moments here before that base is discovered and he will have to break down this ramp. I don't think he's gonna be able to save the base, my, my friends. Guys, he is in trouble. Sin's gonna run around with this DT. We still don't have a fourth base here critically for Queen, but it's fine. It is fine. Wait, 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 <laughs> hold on a second. 15 kill DT over here at the center right. I missed that. I really... <laughs> Okay, a 15 kill DT over here at the center right. I just noticed on the minimap that there was no drones over there. I uh, wonder what the heck happened there, but... a hey, DT managing to get in here. Here he comes down the ramp. He's gonna try and break through. Diving on top of everything. He's got one observer. That is it. He has to keep this observer alive. It is so critical. He must keep this alive. Losing a lot of zealots right now to the lurkers because he's trying to buy time for the observer to come down here, dropping the storms. He's going for the observer. He gets the observer. The observer is dead. Oh my God, that observer. He needed that so, so badly. And I don't think he's gonna be able to push out here without it. I mean, he will storm that. Maybe he can come down and, and take this base. He's gonna start a robo now. This is the latest possible robo here why would you wait so long to build that when it went down in the natural it's crazy to me some mutas are being made here there's like no drones at this base right now I'll picture and picture that for you guys kind of crazy that so many of them were picked off and 
another high templar gonna come down here finally storm through all of these lurkers so he can open up this position and start to mine here from the natural what a wild game this is right now guys this is craziness uh if that def or that uh, dt didn't make its way into the center right here this game would be over i think but because he managed to kill so many drones over here and even this hatchery i guess went down um uh, this game continues on and since is actually not in the worst position ever either as long as he gets a observer out here relatively soon and he starts a nexus he should be okay maybe he can even oh my gosh he's gonna go around everything right now he's moved around the entirety of queen's army and he's gonna get in here start to hit the natural he can even kill the hydralis den as well Ooh, he's gonna lose some of these templar though good snipes here by queen getting another templar there on the backside. some zealots running out here they're gonna get picked off for free he's gonna go into the main base uh, storm boy here finds himself in the wrong neighborhood wrong neighborhood storm boy better go back home it's not gonna make it queens last few mutas his last few drones here as well oh my gosh these mutas can actually kill these cannons that would be crazy if he just dives in here and starts killing the cannons i think he might do so as well Let's see what the storm's gonna look like. He throws down the storm. That's gonna kill some of his own probes here. Not the greatest storm in the world either. The probes are gonna have to be pulled as the main base is going down. Sins is mined out everywhere else. He can't afford anything. He's losing so many probes. 25 to 25 right now. Two little outposts here for Queen and two little outposts here for Sins are all that remain. The main has been completely obliterated. He's even gonna be able to kill the spawning pool here. One observer at the front, it's being targeted. Looks like it will survive. Gonna try and break up the ramp here. Zealots and another observer coming from this side. Can he actually get up here and kill this base? The mutas are doing their work right now, trying to pick off as many zealots as they can. Pulling the drones right now. Queen losing control of this, one of his last bases on the map. down to just one base now and three hatcheries is it possible to win this game from here well he's prevented mining at all coming from sins over here at the uh third base gonna try and get some storms on that see if he can't get the uh, get mining going there again there's really not mining right now at all queen is gonna loop around maybe come up with some hydras after sniping down the templar with the mutas maybe he can take that base Meanwhile, Sin's gonna try and break into Queen's final base. He's coming up here onto the high ground. And he's gotta be very careful with the observers. Finally, he is taking that very seriously. Not throwing in his forces too willy-nilly here or losing the observers too quickly. Great storm there on the ramp. We only need a few more really strong storms like that to shut down Queen here. Two Templar go down really, really quick. Gonna lose a third Templar. He's got one more, but it doesn't have energy for a storm. This army is gonna get cleaned up. All the Dragoons fall. And Queen gets rid of the entire army of Sins. Sins finally back to mining here, but can he still keep mining with the Midas on their way? I think that Sins will get shut down. He's building one more cannon here. He's got a couple of Templars. He's got three Templar. But the Hydras are gonna come for the main base now. That's a lot of Hydras to work with. Storms go down. He storms his own probes there. And the Hydras are just going to make the checkmate move here of killing off all the gateways. And then there's nothing that Sins can do. Even with all of this mining, there's really no recourse for him. Focusing down the pylons right now. Oh, big storms here dealing with the mutas anyway. But a lot of the probes do fall. That is... Uh, <laughs> that is not a lot of probes. We've got 10 probes left to 13 drones. Cannons here. Gonna be picked off very, very quickly. And the entire base is gonna go down. Wow, Sin's gonna make gateways over at the center left. I, I feel like this game is over, but... You know, at this point, anything is possible. Literally anything is possible. 
We've got some Hydras making their way up here to the top right. Looks like Queen wants to take the center right here on this uh, natural base, actually, in the top right. And I don't think there's anything that Sins can do about it. He can build some more Zealots. He's got a few High Templar, of course. Um, maybe since there's no more Mutas and we can't make Mutas, we don't have a layer. Like, no more Mutas can be made at all. If we just make pure Zealot with 2-3 attack or a 3-2 attack. What are these Hydras at? 2-2? Two, two? We've got a leg up in the uh, upgrades here. And we've got three Templar. It's going to take a long time to make any more Templar. But if he goes out, you know, with maybe two or three of his Templar. And a bunch of Zealots. Maybe he can come up here and kill this base. It's possible. It is possible. Queen is getting a little uh, greedy here. He's taking double expansion. Ah, uh, but the Observer is going to go down. And I guess that Sin's just going to tap out here. Um, yeah, with the Observer going down, there's literally nothing you can do. You have to keep that alive. That last Observer, with that end up go when, when that goes down, I mean, he just needed to run a forward a little bit and snipe that. Um, I guess Sin's figured out that he wasn't going to be able to keep that alive. And with no Observer, getting through the Lurkers is just not going to be a possibility. Um, I would have liked to see how this played out if he made, like, you know, eight more Zealots or something like that. And just came across the map and tried to kill this base. It might have been interesting, but... Queen's still going to be making Hydras. His... Oh my god. His mineral patches are mined out. How insane is that? He doesn't even mining over here. He's just going to have to come over here and mine. And there was some time, actually, before he could even mine up here. That is insane. This game was so incredibly close. Guys, if you've seen a game closer than this, you got to let me know in the comments down below. But what a wacky, wacky game. And it's not even a mine-out game either. There's still so many bases around the map that haven't even been touched. And yet we're this close to, like, almost a draw here. Um, not quite, but we could have actually seen... A full-on comeback, maybe, if things had been a little bit different. Maybe if we had a few more probes. If he'd managed to save a few more with the Mutalisk attacks and his own storming his own workers and all that. If he'd managed to save a few more, maybe, you know, 15, 20 probes, he could have gotten that mining going. And pumped out enough Zealots to maybe do something here. But with just nine probes remaining, Sins is just going to tap out. What an insane, crazy game, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. It was a real blast. I'll see you guys tomorrow.